That was a good idea how we put the T-Rex's mouth like that. Mm-hmm. Those look cool. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yep. So this is the vivarium that we made. It has a whole bunch of plants in it. There's no frogs in it yet. We're gonna add frogs here hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Right now they're tadpoles. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we have some different kinds of mosses in there. We have a nice little waterfall in the back that's pumping out water. If you can see that. Underneath these plants, there's a nice little pool. So some rocks in there. A T-Rex head. A skeleton. There's some, I want to say, uh, dinosaur eggs back in there with plants growing out of them because they're fossils now. And then uh, a nice piece of driftwood in there and then we used a uh, small piece of regular cork bark that's uh, been hollowed out and uh, we ran the tubing from the pump all the way up and around over here and then back through this hole over here where the water comes out right here so it's really really cool um, took us probably about six hours total, but, uh, it's really awesome. We got all the plants that we had in there, and it gives a nice, nice, uh, hiding spaces for all the frogs. Uh, we've got four tadpoles right now currently, and they are, uh, they're growing. They've got their hind legs, uh, but nothing else, so they're probably got about another three weeks I would say at the most before we transfer them in here I'm hoping two weeks but um it might be four you know but uh we had one of our plants this one here uh actually split into three separate plants so we planted it back in here on the top of where the uh other half piece of bark is uh we used the flat cork board that came with it as you can see there um Instead of doing foam or silicone, uh, of course we have our UVB and uh, daytime blue light. There's a I gotta find a way to hide this without distorting the uh, the readings for it. This is for the relative humidity, and then back over here in this corner, you can see this moss vine growing here. This actually is where our thermostat is housed, so that. Our, uh, our frogs can't actually get into it or anything of that sort but uh, and you might get another picture of the Tyrannosaurus Rex mouth we put a plant growing out of it that's a fern that's growing out of there and then a nice little piece of uh, moss in there so that they have a nice little space that they can crawl in and hide down in it's nice and soft uh, I figured that might be a good thing to do. But this is uh, this is our vivarium. Um, later on this week, we are going to take and possibly add some silver tails and some isopods so that they can help with our cleanup crew. I'm not too sure about how that's going to work very well because uh, there's a lot in this tiny little terrarium but that's how uh that's how logan wanted it so i'm really pleased with it it uh is our first build ever um so you know let us know what you think um let us know what uh what ideas for our next build maybe because he's got uh, a couple little tadpoles growing in there but he really wants to take and uh, add extras so I'm not sure exactly and like I said this, we are brand new to uh, what do I want to say to this uh, hobby this is a 
12 by 12 by 18. Um, and then underneath here we use the, uh, what do I want to say, the uh, Hydra balls underneath. And uh, we tried the, um, what do I want to say, the uh, actual mesh that they had. But instead we ended up using just weed blocker. Oh my goodness, what a difference it was because having the pump in there um, and using the ZooMed, um, mm -hmm. what do I want to say, the ZooMed uh, substrate uh, tropical soil mix that they had, um, it really, because of the sand and there was rocks in there, it, uh, it really took and clogged up the filter real bad. We actually had to tear it apart, thank God, that we tested the, uh, the waterfall before we put in all of our plants and everything because, uh, man, I would have been really, really upset having to tear apart all of that hard work uh, that he did um, and that I helped him with. But uh, past that point, uh, these are our little tadpoles in here, if we can see them. I don't know if the camera will zoom down in there or not. It doesn't look like it. I have to look up underneath here. You can see them. They got their little legs. So. But uh, that's uh, what I have in there for their food and everything is um, I crushed up some frozen lettuce and uh, some Repto Mini floating sticks I took and added uh, some ground up pieces of both of these in there so they eat those off the bottom and then uh, there's some lettuce in there also a couple of rocks so that, that way they have but uh, yeah that's what we got going on so we usually take and keep this light on them throughout the day that way they can get the UVBs but uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll check back and we'll see exactly what's going on as far as having frogs in this uh, this nice vivarium thanks for watching uh, again like and uh, comment tell me what, what we like what we don't like thanks